<laughs> What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, to all my parents out there, to all the ladies with daughters or sons, to all the men with sons or daughters, as parents, aren't we supposed to set an example for our children? Aren't we the ones that's supposed to raise them differently than how our parents raised us if we did go different if we did go through difficult times with our parents because some of us don't have the best childhoods some of us and some of us do have some good childhoods but for those that didn't have good childhoods aren't you supposed to show your child a different way we have young miami here who states that she doesn't want her daughter to be a city girl when she grows up and that's very understandable. But my thing is, young Miami, if you don't want your daughter living a lifestyle with, if you don't want your daughter living a lifestyle like you, shouldn't you not be presenting yourself in the manner that you're presenting yourself? Shouldn't you not be stating the disgusting stuff that you're stating on some of these platforms when you get on them? You have to lead by example. You just saying something doesn't cut it. We can all not want our kids to do something, but if they see us doing it, they're going to want to do it. They're going to want to follow along in our footsteps. And the thing is, if we do decide to move a certain way or provocatively or in a gang type lifestyle, we need to be secretive as possible with that stuff and not let our kids see that stuff. We need to move in some type of silence. You can't sit out here and say that you want your daughter to not be a city girl when you're portraying yourself in the spotlight all day with this city girl attitude. It doesn't add up, young Miami. It doesn't add up. Now, you could definitely say that if you moved in silence and kept your mouth shut about the things you do. But no, you have to open your mouth up and talk about all the things you do. But you know what? I'm not even going to talk no more. I'm going to get right into the damn article, which she did talk about on Jason Lee's show, okay? When asked about being a mother to her daughter and if she want her daughter to be a city girl when she gets older, Miami immediately nixed that ideal. She says Summer ain't allowed to be no city girl. She said, no, I want her race totally different. I don't even want her to see the light of day like that. Like, I just want her to be like level headed, a schoolgirl, and just on a whole other wave. She added, I kind of was raised different. So I don't want to raise her up like how I was raised. You know, I'm a city girl. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But I don't want that for my daughter. Now, we could all not want certain stuff for our kids. But like I said, if you're portraying something out there in the limelight like that, isn't your kid going to follow behind you? This is like proven facts. If you're acting in a certain manner in front of your kids and doing certain stuff in front of your kids, your kids are bound to follow that same type of lifestyle and reenact the same things that you are doing. She talks about all this degrading stuff. She talks about what's been done to her by men. She talks about being bisexual. This is stuff that you need to keep between yourself and your partner. This is stuff that you shouldn't be putting out there and uh, out there to the world. And then you got these people like Young Miami that want to say whatever I do in private is private. But you open your mouth so much, you pillow talk too damn much. And your sexuality and whatever you want to do with it, that's your business. That's not for the world to know. You liking or wanting to sleep with Megan the Stallion, that's your business. That's nothing that the whole world has to know. You getting pissed on by P. Diddy is your business. That's nothing that the world has to know. But that's something that your daughter and your son will see in the future because it's out there in the media world. And you can't ever go back and take that away or hide that. Now, if you want to talk about, like, I, not her, but... I talk about moving inside and being careful what you say, okay? This is a quote that she stated on Jason Lee's show. She said, I'm a whore. She admitted before defining it. Now, to me, there's no certain way that you can make being a whore sound nice. 
I'm so tired of girls like Amber Rose and her trying to define certain stuff, making it seem like they can put it in a better uh, meaning or better definition when it is actually what it is. If you're a slut, that's a degrading term for a nasty woman. If you're a whore, that's a degrading term for a nasty woman. No real woman out there should call herself a whore or no real woman out there should call herself a slut. Stop. Y'all sit up here and, and, and degrade yourself with the most disgusting terms. And then when us men come on our platforms and just talk about what uh, y'all say to the world out here, we get bashed all the time for it. We get bashed all the time for it when we're just basically stating what they stated about themselves. Now, back to her. This woman right here states, I'm a whore. I'm free with myself. I'm very like sexy. I'm free. I'm open. I think that a whore is a person that like they'll have on some shorts, ass out, titties out. She continued. Yeah, I'm a whore. I keep telling y'all. I think it's a fun word. It's more like how you express yourself. Get the fuck out of here. OK. Be a, a, a whore is not a, a fun term to my guys out there. I challenge you go out there and call a girl. Go out there and call a girl a whore and see if she thinks that's a fun term. Go out there and call a woman a slut and she and see if she thinks that that is a fun term. You get bonehead bimbo bros like this that are trying to change the definition of a word. If you're a whore, you're a degrading, low life, disgusting woman. A Jezebel. If you're a slut, the same principles apply as a whore. It's no difference. Same meaning, pretty much. Same meaning, different word or a different way to say it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said, at the end of the day, if she's up here putting herself out there in the limelight, limelight like that and displaying herself with all this derogatory things that she's doing, then of course your daughter is going to follow in your footstep because you're the one that's raising her. You're, you're supposed to be her role model. You, you, young Miami, you're her role model. Nobody else. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.